Welcome back, Jules GF, week 13 NFL. We'll leave the heavyweight tilt, and you know what the heavyweight tilt was, or you don't fucking know football, so we'll get to that after. The Thursday night was the Cowboys, we already covered that. So, Colts 31-28 over the Titans. That shit division's starting to get tight. Gardner Minshew's keeping them alive. Good for Will Levis, he's still playing well. Lions 33-28 over the Saints. Again, that division's awful. Whether it's the Saints or the Falcons, they're losing that first-round playoff matchup. Falcons 13-8 over the Jets. Nobody gives a shit. Two shit teams. Falcons always have these shit matchups. That's the only reason they're 500. Chargers 6 nothing over the Patriots. Bill, keep getting Caleb Williams, brother. You're doing it right. It's the right year to tank. Chargers are shit. Justin Herbert, not sold yet, brother. 22-17 Texans over Broncos. Definitely sold on C.J. Stroud. He's in the MVP race, um, and that's hard to do as a rookie. If he can get him in the playoffs, look out. Cardinals 24-10 over the Steelers. Mm -hmm. Kenny Pickett got hurt. Kenny Pickett sucks. They take the L. Again, these are just garbage. Garbage. A lot of garbage teams this year, man. Dolphins and Commanders 45-15. to Commanders are trash. Tua doing his thing. Tyreek Hill doing his thing. Again, very boring week, guys. 21-18 Buccaneers beat the Panthers. Nobody gives a shit. Does that keep the Buccaneers kind of in the mix with the Saints and the Falcons? Oh, God. I hope Dallas. See, the one thing about Dallas, if they don't win the division, I think they're going to get the fifth seed, and you get a nice uh, wild card game to get things rolling. But what else here? Rams 36, Browns 19. Browns disasters at quarterback. Joe Flacco. What a disaster, man. What a shit career Joe Flacco had the last. God, he won that Super Bowl in 2012. My God, man. Five solid years to start and then trash the rest of the way. What are you going to do? He's still in the league. 27-19 Packers over Chiefs. Uh, my boy Robbie there. Don't blow your load like this is some big win. Uh, what a... What a Brett Veach, shame on you, GM. Jerry Jones didn't get anyone at the deadline. Just lost out on Shaq Leonard. You guys didn't upgrade anything. You didn't get any wide receivers for Patrick Mahomes. And that's why they're struggling. Just no one to blame but themselves. 34-31 overtime Bengals over Jaguars. Browning with the game of his life. Trevor Lawrence with a bad ankle injury. Is it four to six weeks or is he out for the year? Um, Jaguars still haven't put it together yet. Defense, offense, just uh, expected more from Trevor Lawrence this year. Wasn't meant to be, obviously. So anyway, let's get into it. The heavyweight fight, the big bopper. 49ers at Eagles. Let's get it on for the championship game. Brock Purdy, officially, you, you remain in Tier 1A. What an outstanding performance. 19 for 27, 314 yards, 4 TDs, no INTs, clean. This guy to Brandon Ayuk, the chemistry's there. When Debo and Kittle and CMC, when they're healthy, they're the best team in the NFL. And this was a statement victory. Jalen Hurts, 26 of 45. That is a terrible percentage. One TD, seven carries for only 20 yards, did the tush push, but that's shit too. They shut them down. A.J. Brown, eight catches, 114 yards. Debo had 116 and two TDs. McCaffrey was better than Swift. This was just an all-around beatdown. So, the Eagles at least put up 19 to my Cowboys 10, and San Fran has whooped both of those teams with 42 points. So, they're the best team in the NFL. The Chiefs are probably not going back to the Super Bowl this year. It's wide open in the AFC. But in the NFC, it's San Fran 1, Philly 2, Dallas 3, Detroit 4. That's how I see it. Maybe Detroit can go up to 3. Dallas drops down to 4. But either way, Eagles, they had the Bills, big win. Then they had the Niners, humbling defeat. And they got the, they got to go to Dallas and Jerry World this Sunday. Cowboys got to win that one. No excuses, but the Eagles are going to be pissed off after this one. That's a huge one. Because if Dallas wins that, then both teams are 10-3. and three. The Niners will be 10-3. and three. And coming down the stretch, a three-way tie for the number one seed. It's going to get tight. Must win for Dak Prescott, Mike McCarthy, Jerry Jones, all of that. No excuses. You're 0-2 this year in the big-time matchups. This is test number three. You're going to shit the bed again? Step up.